Hi again, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch back at the Imagination Station along with Carl Nelson. And today dealing with the combustion of hydrogen. Hydrogen, exactly. which is a very flammable gas from exactly. what I understand, yes. Exactly. It's something we use in our combustion shows all the time. We've got a balloon here filled with hydrogen gas. And okay. I just want to demonstrate what happens when you bring a flame up next to that, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. Three, two, one. Snuggle it up there. Ooh. All right. Now, did you notice, one, the candles didn't go out because of the hydrogen gas, which was flammable. It didn't blow out the candle, yeah. which is kind of nice. But also, as you brought that flame up, the flame melted the balloon. Okay. The balloon, if we had a high-speed camera, right, the balloon would wrap away. The combustible hydrogen gas would float up, mixed with oxygen in the air. The flame would ignite it, and you get that, what's called a deflagration. Okay. It combusts that slower than the speed of sound. Okay. okay so, but it's, it's a big boom. That's where the fireball was. Exactly. Okay. So I thought we'd try it a little bit differently. Okay. Okay. Instead of using a balloon, we're going to use this jug, which on the bottom, it's open. Okay. okay. And on the top, I've got a tiny little metal pipe. Okay. okay go ahead and hold that frame for a second. Okay. What we're going to do is i got a balloon filled with hydrogen gas here, and we're going to fill this jug with hydrogen gas. Which is lighter than air. Lighter than air. Okay. So it's going to float up and out this little hole. Okay. Now, I want a complete hydrogen atmosphere, so what I want you to do is stick your index finger on top of that. Okay. At first, you're going to leave it open, and then when I tell you to, you're going to put your finger back. Okay. okay so so let, let some of the air out first. Okay. And very important, don't tip this jug. We want to contain all the gas inside. Okay. i got more than we need, but... Okay. Tell and me let that. it go. Get ready and a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, go ahead and plug it. Now just keep your hand there. We're going to let the hydrogen gas slowly fill up the jug. And what's interesting about hydrogen, it conducts heat very well. I can kind of get a sense when the jug is full when I feel a cold breeze passing past my okay, hand. Okay, interesting. Uh, not quite there yet. I'm probably going to overfill it a little bit. I can yeah, feel I some coal there coming up now. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we got hydrogen. Keep your finger on there. Don't move it. We're going to let that residual hydrogen move away. Okay. <laughs> now, What's the reason for that, Carl? Well, because we don't want to ignite that because <laughs> that would you, explode. Carl. What I want you to do, though, is push that whole thing away from your body a little bit. All right. Now, I'm going to light it. You're going to take your finger away. Okay. All right. Yeah. Take your finger away. Okay. You stand right there. You can see there's a tiny little flame on top of the jug. That's because the hydrogen gas is pushing out, combusting with the oxygen in the air. Okay. But we're also depleting the hydrogen inside the jug. Keep that jug steady. Don't til tilt it. The pressure of the hydrogen is decreasing, and then the jug is filling with a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen gas. At some point, the pressure will drop just enough that that flame will drop down inside the jug and ignite that combustible mixture. You have a good grip on that, right? Yes. Don't tip it. Don't tip it. We don't want to blow the flame out. And it's so unpredictable, you just never know when you're going to burn off enough of the hydrogen that it can drop down the tube. And of course, remember, the bottom of that jug is wide open, so yes. we should have an appreciable flame ball sh shooting out the bottom of the jug. Sometimes, Carl, I... And you, uh, you a lot of times, you know, people will think that hydrogen is so flammable that if you bring a flame next to it, it's going to explode. Yes. But you need the right mix of fuel, flame, and oxygen. Which it took time it to took develop time that to within that. It took time to push out, combust in the atmosphere, and then eventually, boom, drops down inside. I can't hear you at all, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hydrogen. Neat. Yeah. Fun don't stuff. Don't do this one at home, for don't sure. Don't try it at home. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> did I do a good job? Good Trying job. to hold as steady perfect. as I could. Okay. Perfect. For Carl Nelson, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback. That was Imagine It.